Hello everyone. It is another beautiful day in India. And with the high of 82 degrees, as of recording this, the sun is a glowing, the guns are showing, and the beer is certainly flowing. Summer is upon us. Welcome back to Cloudless in Indy. I'm Cloudless, and I'm in Indy. And fortunately for you, it's another beer review. Roll the intro. So I am very happy to be making this video today. Um, and I don't know whether I'll be posting it in early June or in late June, but regardless, if any of you guys are race fans, then you know what happened recently. Uh, so I've lived in the Indy metro area for almost three years now, come July, and I have never uh, been, uh, as far as like seen live, uh, in person or on TV, the Indy 500, until this past race. Now you wonder, no, I didn't go to the race itself in person, but I did see it on TV. Now everyone knows that there was a media blackout, so if you wanted to see the race, you had to go. And almost 400,000 people <laughs> did just that. Uh, but luckily, at my job, we were able to find the race on a Spanish channel called Universal. So basically, all the commentary was in Spanish. Thankfully, I understand uh, quite a bit of Spanish, so this was not an issue for me. Uh, we just had the volume off and just, you know, I had the subtitles going, so I, at least I could understand what was going on. But you're probably wondering, why am I even even bringing this up? Well, the beer that I'm covering today is by Sun King. And if just by the name alone, if you haven't figured it out, what beer I'm about to <laughs> mention, well, you're about to find out. So it is obviously June right now as of recording this video. And the other day I had heard that the Crispy 500 was done. Um, I, I, I'm not sure if it was for the year or whatever, but I managed to find the last four pack of the Crispy 500 at Sun King. I'm not sure if, uh, if that'll focus, but um, I'm gonna take off one of these cans and show you guys. Look at that. Look at that beautiful can. Honestly, it, I mean, it kind of uh, <laughs> reminds me of a, uh, a taxi, a little bit like taxi colors, like New York taxis. But um, but yeah, the uh, Crispy 500 race day logger. Um, according to Sun King's website, it is available throughout the month of May. And of course, it's in a pint can. Now this beer is a very light beer, probably one of their lightest, uh, as far as I as far as I know of their beers, coming in at an ABV of only 4.4. That's literally only two points. Um, that's literally only two points above Bud Light, I think. If it's, I think it's like a 4.2. I think they're 4.2 ABV and an IBU of 10. Me personally, that's the lowest IBU I've ever I've ever heard of in a beer. <laughs> you know, at least that that's, that I could find, All right? Um, so we're just gonna get pretty much right into the tasting. We'll be tasting it once again in my wine in wine glass. I I become quite accustomed to um, this you know this glass. Uh, so let's open it right up.
Ooh. Yeah, I just pulled this right out of the fridge. Oh, wow. I can literally smell the beer all the way from over here. <laughs> you know, I, I really hope I caught that on camera. But this is pretty much like a Pilsner. Uh, I mean, look how pale that is. It is so transparent. I can literally see right through the glass. Um, very nice head. And the beer smells very bready. Very yeasty. Mmm. But it smells very good. Look at that. I mean, it's, it's very nice. Um, not a a lot of carbonation bubbles, I would say, the uh, or the CO2 bubbles. And like I said before, I did just pull this right out of the fridge, so this is pretty darn cold. Mm. Ooh. Oh, wow. So I want to say it's a little sweet right on the palate, but um, there's, not, there's not a lot of flavor. Right, this is, from from what I understand, you know, about the beer, um, and of course about race day, you know, I think they do races, uh, I mean, not necessarily races, but because, you know, they're doing like the time qualifying trials and all that stuff, but I think there's everything, there's things going on throughout the month of May, all the way up to the race day which I think is, what, the uh, 28th? Uh, so, and pretty much that whole race weekend, people are just getting obliterated, right? And so this is a very light beer, I would say a very refreshing beer, almost like, you know, drinking flavored water, you know, so. Mm. I think this is pretty much a beer that you can literally drink all day. Right, I mean, they, they call it the crispy 500. I mean, to me, it's not very crispy. Mm. I mean, maybe a little bit right on right on, right at the top, but like I said, in the middle of the palette and on the finish, it's very smooth. You know, not a lot, not a lot of um, not very long lasting flavor. You know, um, I mean, it's basically, you know, it's just basically a pale ale, you know, I mean, well, I mean, it's a lager, rather, um, I mean, it's basically a pale lager, you know, it's a pilsner, it's just very easy drinking, you can drink this all day, and, um, and be, and be said, I could probably drink this whole four pack, and be fine, um, and maybe that's the whole purpose of this beer, you know, is that you can drink it all day during race day, mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Um, I do realize though that I did forget to, mainly because I was just so excited to try this beer. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to actually read the description um, on the can, but it says, Crispy 500 is a lager brewed in celebration of the grandest of traditions, race day. Um, and brewed and packaged by Sun King Brewery in Indianapolis and Sarasota, Florida, which is where I'm from. I don't know if they actually brew this in Sarasota, um, but, you know. Oh, excuse me. I think I might have gotten ahead of myself. You know, <laughs> I mean, obviously you know that I'm covering Indiana breweries and Sun King isn't is in um, Indianapolis, Indiana. So smack dab downtown on the east side of downtown, right off of College Avenue. Um, but yeah, this is very delicious and I would 100% not only recommend this, but I think in my last video, depending on the order that I post these, I decided to make kind of a chart of, um, you know, what I have, a, you know, what I have like an eight ouncer, or a pint of this, would I have a liter, you know, um, would I buy a growler of this, or am I buying the whole keg? 
uh, I think that's a five rating system. I think that's pretty decent. And to be honest with you, I would definitely, um, I would definitely buy a keg of this. This is, this is very good. Um, a great beer for Oktoberfest. You know, you can drink this all day and I think you'll be fine. You won't get too rowdy. Mm. And um, just have a slight buzz and just be able to maintain that throughout the day, if not the whole weekend. Anyways, um, thanks for watching my video. This is um, Cloudless and Indy covering the Crispy 500 Race Day Lager by Sun King Brewery in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, Prost, Slancha, Salud, Nastrovia. Uh, cheers and peace, and I'll see you guys in the next one.